React Router is one of the oldest and most popular ways to handle routing in React. It is maintained by the team behind Remix, and unlike their competitor Next.js, they aren't relying on a file-based routing system. Instead, you need to use components and hooks to make sure of all your routing needs. In this video, we see how React Router works and how to set it up for your React application. So with React Router, which we can just install with NPM, we can set up routing for this application, no matter the uh, React framework or library you're using, because React Router works with all the different libraries. Let me run npm install react router dom, which should install the library react router dom, which is the react router library maintained by the Remix, uh, Remix core team. I've just installed react router version 6.7, which we can now use to set up routing for our developer application. We have an application that looks like this. We have a portfolio page. We have our information coming from GitHub. And it's split into two different components that are now being rendered all on one page. And what I want to do instead, I want to render this on different pages. If we would go to the React Developer Tools, you can see we have a header component, a profile component, and a projects component. What I want to do is I want to create separate pages for the profile and the projects. Uh, and maybe you want to even create a detail page for the different projects. In index.js, I will be importing the information from React Router DOM. Um, I will be importing create browser router, which is a function to set up a new uh, router object. And I also will be adding the router provider, which is a component that I use to wrap my React components. I will be using that right there. So what I want to do with create browser router, I want to create a router object, which will look like This. So this is a router object. And in here, I want to map the path, uh, the main path slash to a component. And I want to mount this to the component app, which is my main component. And it also means that in here, I need to use my router provider to wrap my entire application. I will take this router provider and put it right here. Or actually, like this. And then I pass my router to it and I should be able to just save it. I'm getting an error here because I need to use a closing tag as well. So if I save this and clean it up a bit, I can start my React application by running npm start, which will start a new development server and then render my application to it. As I'm just rendering the application, the component app on the main route, it should still look the same as we previously saw. It should be one page that shows a uh, GitHub portfolio with some main information coming from main information coming from GitHub, and then also all my repos listed at projects. Create a another path for our projects and map it to the projects component. We're going to be duplicating this, we call it project, and then we link it to the component called projects. Of course, we need to import it as well, uh, and the imports added right there. So once I save this, still nothing has changed for our main file. It should still look the same. We should still have the same application showing the GitHub uh, details and projects on one page. But now we can also go to the uh, URL slash projects, which should render a list of all our projects. But as you can see, it doesn't have the same header as we saw for the previous, the previous page. So what we can do instead of listing it right here, we can add a child page. And for this, we would add children right here. And which is an array. And in this array, we can paste the block that we had before with the path slash projects. So what it will do, it will render the projects component inside the app component. But for this, we need to make one other change. We need to delete the projects from here as we want to put this on a separate page. 
and we want to use a outlet component instead. And the outlet component should be imported from React Router DOM. This is called outlet. Outlet from React Router DOM. And then we need to render it right here. So what will happen? The outlet component will be replaced with the component that we linked up to this child's path. Go to the browser now, you can see whenever we go to project, we can see the about me section and also the different project section. But we probably want to separate this as well as we only want to show the portfolio, uh, portfolio details like this main block with the about me, the profile section, when we go to the main route. For this, we go back to VS Code, where we need to create another child route. Which we set up like this, and we just call it profile. Of course, we need to import profile here as well. Import. profile like this and save it um, and then we go to our app component where we should also delete the profile component as it's now being rendered uh, by React Router. Go back to our browser you can see we have our profile on the main page and then if we go to slash projects we have a list of all our projects. But of course, uh, we want to add a link from here to our projects as well. So we can go to profile. And in here we can import a link component from React Router DOM. To import. And then we say a link from React Router DOM. And in here, in our profile, we can just add a diff element. Make it slash diff there as well. And we can use our link element there to slash projects. And then name this view my projects. Now, if we would go to our main page in the portfolio, you can see that we have a link to go to projects, which will bring us to the list of all the different projects. And something else we can do is show the um, individual projects whenever you click on it, because now we don't really uh, have any interaction here, because maybe we want to show some more details about the different projects whenever you click on them. That's it. That's how easy it is to set up routing using React Router. I'd like to hear what you think of using React Router as opposed to a file-based routing system you might know of from Next.js. Let me know in the comments and also make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.